What up, geeks? Time for another episode of Global Geek Art in Depth. Before we go ahead and get started, make sure go down to that red subscribe button, click it, make it turn gray. All right. Also, make sure to click that bell icon so you get notifications of when I post new videos. Then go and find this guy right here, my man Eric on TikTok at Broken Arted Studios. I guess you can find me too. <laughs> Eric, you. how are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm very, very good. All right. Feeling uh, nice and fresh today. Ready to look at some nice art. All right. How are well, you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know what? Let me go ahead. Let's get our honorable mentions on the screen. Some awesome pieces to look at, so that is good, but we need more. More pieces. Always want more pieces. More exactly. art. Yeah, man, I like seeing everybody's art. You know, it takes me forever to work on an art piece. So I like to be able to see other people's stuff every once in a while. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, then I see some people where they crank out art like that. It's like, didn't you just do something else yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like myself personally, I have little spurts where I just like sometimes I put out a ton of art in a little bit amount, of, yeah, a little amount of, amount of time, and uh, other times it takes me forever to do just one or two pieces. Yeah, no, I but. feel that. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into who our first artist of the week is. So Jerome Gonzalez has got a really interesting piece for us. So. It's a little different from our normal stuff. It's ocean fantasy, which goes along with mythical creatures, and I'd say you can geek out about that. And he's not really happy with this. He thinks it's oversaturated, and he doesn't like how the inking went. But honestly, man, I'm going to tell you, this looks like fire. Like, it's really yeah. good. Like, I like the colors. I like... I don't really see any imperfections with it, really. No, you know, I think it's really good. Um, it is fire, and that's saying something for being in the ocean. Like, <laughs> that's really good. Um, I, I do see, Jerome, where you could say where it is a little oversaturated. I don't think it's so much the colors. I think you just need a little bit more white balance, like in the background to kind of push it into the background, create a little more depth. Um, the colors are there. They're really, really nice. The, the characters here look great. I love this coral that you have right in the front. The red coral, it reminds me of a human heart um, that I just has that. a little added in the, the uh, bottom there. So that's really, really cool. I'd say that's what I focus on when I first look at this piece. I think if you want to get those mermaids to be focused more, you just need to put some like white noise in the background with those those dark blues and purples. But seriously, really, really nice. From what I see, it's technically sound as hell. So, great job. Yeah. Well, and you know, here's my thing is, I understand what you're saying there, but I think that there's just so much going on here. There's so much details, which I love. I love the amount of detail in here. Um, oh, absolutely. That, you know, there's just a lot going on in the image itself. There's different things drawing your eyes the entire time. So, I don't really, you know, I don't really notice it as much. But, you know, I'm sitting right. there, I'm looking at like, man, what's going on with them in this image? Um what is that orb? What's going on with him? Why is he all like, oh my god, that was the best sex ever kind of pose, you know? Like. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You know, like, were those two manta rays just sitting there like, dang, look at them mer people go. Like, what's going on? I don't know. Oh yeah, it looks like they're about to give it a go right after. <laughs> the one right in the upper corner. Like, looks... <laughs> no, it really does look great. There is a lot going on. Um. It's, it's funny how, like, we can both look at it and, like, be able to focus on different things. I guess, like, the reason I was focusing on that coral right at first is because it does have those white highlights that do help it stick out um, right away. I see um, that. I mean, in... But I do really love that, that mermaid with the orb. I 
I love it. I absolutely do. And I like the colors. Not traditional mermaid colors there, I don't believe, at least. Um, well, I might I mean, be wrong. Most mermaids don't actually have octopus tentacles either. But I like right. the fact that he changed it up to that. So Right, so I don't know if maybe they have a different name as well. I don't know. So I guess Tent- technically maids. they would be, what is it, that um, Ursula thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Ursula. Squid, yeah. squid people? I don't know what you call that. <laughs> but, uh, no matter what, I love it. So, so question. So, octopuses, one of their tentacles is actually their, you know, yoo But, uh, does that mean that his is also. <laughs> you didn't even finish your. I, <laughs> that last little thing you said wasn't words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're Lose done for it. the day. I mean, go, go ahead and move it on here. <laughs> yeah, we- it's been another amazing week of art. You guys are so awesome. Good job, everybody. I love your pieces. Let's keep it up. Please, all of you, make sure go down, like, and subscribe. I love you guys. I want to see more of you. And if I could really quick just throw in there. Everyone who's getting featured on these, who's watching these videos, make sure you're also sharing. We want everyone to be able to see your art. We want people to be able to see this page, join this community. Like, we need y'all's help. So please, subscribe to this guy, share his videos. Let's keep building this global geek community. Yeah, global geek community. Let's keep building that. Yes, and if you guys are new to these videos and you have no clue what the Global Geek community is, go to Facebook, go to Global Geek Art. That's our page. I will always make sure to put a link down in the description below, along with all of my contact details and my TikTok, as well as this guy's TikTok, because we do some funny shit on there as well. (laughs) Until next time, my man, you got anything else to say? No, thanks for having me on, like uh, always, man. It was always good to look at some cool art. Really liked the pieces this week, and uh, I can't wait to do the next video. All right. Till next time, guys. See ya.